Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Align Plans. Today, today we're finally going to actually switch out our inks, but first we're going to actually swatch all of the inks that I have in front of me, mainly because I just honestly need an excuse to use these little swatch cards and I can't wait to like just fill them all up. And we will basically just get most of my pens inked up and ready to go for the month of May as we're at the beginning of the month. And honestly, I just wanted to kind of see how the swatches kind of play out, see how it looks before we dive into actually inking my pens. We're going to do our best to just simply avoid over inking or having to swap out inks because it didn't work out. So, so that sounds good then stay tuned and let's dive right in. And of course, if you're brand new and you have never met me before, hello, hello, my name is Meshi and I am the person behind Align Plans. We talk a couple of times a week on this channel and we talk about anything, everything, stationary, journaling, planning, minimalist planning, all the things. So if you love journaling, you love planning, you love fountain pens, then you would probably really enjoy it here. And of course, if you want something even more on this channel, then you can also follow me on Patreon where we now also have a tier dedicated for the book lovers in you, which I'm quite excited about. So check it out, take a look if it's in alignment. I would love to have you in the community. But of course, just you sharing your time and space with me here means the world to me. Okay, before we get started, honestly, I'm not going to actually put you through me inking my pens on camera because not only is it messy, but it's also quite tedious. But what I really wanted to do actually is to show you the ink lineup for this month. And I have quite a few to go over. So let's take a look at what we have. So I wanted to have a swatch at least once of, we have the Shidori Cherry Blossom from Ferris. No. Is it from Ferris Wheel Press? Yes. I wanted to kind of shake it up. Let's get you zoomed in and hopefully the lighting is enough so that you can see. Ooh. So this one is sort of like a pink with, um, with some bronze or pink sparkles. <clears throat> It is a pretty, like, it's pretty faint, right? Like you need to really put this color into something where you, you give basically the opportunity for the, the pen to kind of build up the ink because otherwise it's pretty faint. Okay, so this is from Ferris Wheel Press. So we will let that kind of dry a little bit. I don't think I want to, like I'm always kind of stuck with this color because I feel like I want to ink my pens with it, but then I don't, you know what I mean? Okay, next up we have Donna Victorina and I personally, I don't think that I have, no. No, I don't have the swatches of that. So let's take a look. So this is what she looks like here. Okay, with kelp tea, we're now going to swatch it again because I already have the, the actual swatch card. <coughs> Next up, we have hanging rice. Now of this, I don't have, let me just shake it. So 
So this is Hanging Rice from Troublemaker. I feel like this is definitely going to be a winner. Winner. <laughs> My goodness, I can't speak. So we're going to just let that dry for a few minutes. Next up, we have Foxglove. Now I do have a, a swatch card already made for for foxglove so this is what it looks like so i'm not going to swatch it again but i wanted to kind of compare that to donna victorina i feel like this would be really lovely for spring which is what we're kind of moving into so <clears throat> i'm going to leave this out as a contender next up we have we have Guitar Fountain, um, Fountain Pen Ink Opera Rose. Now I do feel like I already have, do I already have a swatch of guitar? No, I don't. I feel like this makes it all the while worth it. Okay, so let's just swatch. I mean, I thoroughly enjoy it. I love this color, actually. So this is going to be fountain. No, my gosh, what is this? Get from guitar. This is going to be opera rose. It's sort of like an oldie, but a goodie. Not, it's not old by any means. It's such a stunning color. But if you kind of compare the two, the way that the Shidori Cherry Blossom dries versus the way that Trouble versus, um, it's not Troublemaker, versus this guy dries. Okay. This is Op Rose. And that is Guitar Fountain Pen. Okay, we're getting really beautiful lights in here. So I can't wait till this fully dries so we can see the difference, but I will also show you guys um, a close up in a moment. Okay, next up, we're, I'm going to use one card for all of the swatches because I decided that the large cards are going to be dedicated for for the full bottles that I have. And then the when I'm just dedicating one single card for like the smaller swatches, those are going to be for the, um, the sample size bottles. So I have quite a few here because at one point I went pretty crazy and I just bought samples of everything. So here we go, 10 minutes later. Oh, and here we go, the sun is actually out. Let me, get, let me just get you guys zoomed in so you can see a little bit better. So the color is that I have, so we have Cream of Earl, which I honestly, I've never, I think I inked my pen with this maybe one time. I couldn't, I couldn't get into it and you'll see why. So this is Ferris Wheel Press. I never really used it for anything. I think that this would be fine if I put it into like a fine tip pen so that, or it need, if it goes into like maybe Ferris wheel, or if I put it into Lamy where like the ink can kind of run a little bit looser, then it would be fine. But other than that, it's such, like there, you can barely see it. You can kind of make it up, but Okay, next up we have also from Ferris Wheel Press, we have Spadina Rose. I've had this for a while and I love this ink. Okay, so this is. Next up is Winterberry, also from Ferris Wheel Press. <clears throat> this is also lovely, but I feel like this is perfect in the winter time, hence the name. It's not a very like spring-like color, and you'll see, you'll see what I mean in a second. See how rich this is? Okay, next up, 
staying basically all of these are going to be ferris wheel pressed just so you know as you can tell the obsession was quite quite strong at some point so this is um storied blue i really like this actually i really love this color so maybe maybe we'll use this for this month it's just a very lovely light-hearted really beautiful blue It's just like this really lovely, whimsical, beautiful. I think I'm already starting to see like where we're gonna go with this. Part of me would love to, love to use this. We're going to swatch this too, because I want to be able to compare the two gray. So I, I also have glimmering grayish, and we will swatch both. Okay, next up, these were like the little sets that you can get. This was like a little trio sample size that you can get from Ferris Wheel Press. This one was Moss Park Green. First of all, I love their bottle. It looks so posh. It looks so cute. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm losing my voice. That's something new. Okay, so this is... That's such a beautiful green. I forgot how pretty this is. So this is Moss Park Green. Next up, this is... I forget the name, BDB. It is such a strong color. Okay, let's just watch it. But then once you, once you kind of shear it out, it looks stunning again, right? Last in this is, um, I think it's Goose Papier or something like that. It says GPP, so we'll just, we'll just write that. Another green. It always kind of, I think that because the name, it, I think it was like French for, for um, baby goose, but legit, it always just sounded like goose poop. And then like, you know what I mean? It kind of looks like poop, but then you mixed it in with green. Anyway, that's just me and my names. All right, and last but not least, we have um, Bathurst Blue Denim. Again, another one of my favorites. I don't know, for a while I had like this thing for like really beautiful blues. And the last one that I would like to swatch is actually um, glimmering grayish. So this is what um, this is what the little samples look like from Ferris Wheel Press. I'm going to again just allow this to kind of dry on its own, and then let's get a, a sample card of glimmering grayish. I'm going to see if I have. Maybe we can use the back of this one because now it's completely dry. Once again, you can you can tell like there, this one has more like a yellow. It's like a yellow gold um, shimmer added. I had like a moment of obsession with grays for a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of a cleanup. 
here is a close-up completely wet still um, I'm going to give this a few minutes until every single swatch card has finally um, dried we'll take a look and then we'll make our selection and I'll show you I'm going to just show you which ones I'm going to be inking for the month of May so we'll be right back okay I think we maybe okay I'll, I'll show you at least the ones that are 100% for sure so out of out of this lineup we're going to go with storied blue and storied blue moss park green and gbd i forget the name but there's three there which is the three little samples so there's three and then because we have two four we have six we have six pens to ink so that would bring us to so there's three here and then we can pick three from here now foxglove i would like to go with foxglove for sure here's what i'm thinking so i already have a swatch card for petrichor because i haven't used petrichor and i'm always kind of like stuck between these two right because i love both mm, i feel like maybe we can swap this so then we're going to have troublemakers petrichor we're going to have glimmering grayish from ferris wheel press we can have foxglove so there's three colors there my only problem is that we have purples and blues and gray and then here if i pick this really dark color because I was picking Moss Park Green and Storied Blue. And if I pick these two, then we have our really beautiful blue and we have our beautiful green, which none of these are it. And then, and then that would leave space for either Opera Rose or Spadina Rose. And to be honest, I kind of like both. Because then we have three... Why do I feel like... No, so here we can pick Storied Blue and Moss Park Green. So there's two three four five and then this can be the wild card but then we're now we're between spadina rose and opera rose so here is your close-up of both i will insert a better close-up where there's a lot more sunlight that's coming in right now the sun is sort of it's out but it's not really out but basically i feel like opera rose have been in such a strong rotation in um you know what we're going to go with how much do I have of Spadina? Yes. I think I'm going to put this away. Opera Rose, you're going to take a little bit of a breather. And we're going to... This month is actually going to be a really heavy month for, for Ferris Wheel Press. So way to go, Ferris Wheel. I was also kind of debating between these two because this is fantastic to write with. And this looks pretty on the swatch. But when you write with it, it's a little faint. You know what I mean? Okay, well, we can put Donna Victorina away. Melancholy Blue. Spadina Rose, you win. So Spadina Rose wins. So we have Spadina Rose, Storied Blue, Moss Park Green. So those three are fairly light. Petrichor is going to be like your everyday. I'm going to swap out Foxglove just because I know how faint it is. And we're going to go with, you know what? Let's bring in Hanging Rice into the mix. Yes. Here we go. So we have Hanging Rice, we have Petrichor, we have Glimmering Grage. This is our lineup. Okay, this is our lineup. We have Hanging Rice, we have Petrichor, Glimmering Grage, Storied Blue, Moss Park Green, and Spadina Rose. Boom. Okay, that's, that's all we've got. So I will show you guys a close-up of each of the swatches and we'll get to, oh, and we'll get to inking, but, I will show you guys the close-up so that you can enjoy. I wanted to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope that you had as much 
confusing fun as I did in um, the inking process. Sometimes these are like super easy for me to do. Sometimes they're they're quite difficult because there's so many good colors and so many different directions that we can go with everything. But thank you so much for watching you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy this video, if you like inking videos just like this one, then you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you have not yet already. We chat at least a minimum two times a week. We're hoping to get to about three times a week, but that's kind of questionable sometimes. But nevertheless, I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.